Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. This is, you know, it's been a it's been a little bit, it's been a few months, right? Or a couple months at least that Modern Warfare or Cold War has been out. And we streamed Modern Warfare just a little bit last night, and we ended up switching off of it because we couldn't find a game. But today's video, we're gonna be playing some Modern Warfare and to see what it's like in today's day. Or I, I was gonna say today's age, but we're gonna see what it's like today. The very first thing that I really did not like about Modern Warfare, which I don't I don't understand why it does this, but like in my graphic settings, I have to play my render resolution says 3840 by 2160, like to be at 100, which is not true. I play on 1920 by 1080. And when I lower this to 50, 1920 by 1080, the game is like so blurry. I don't know why. And then also, when I actually load into a map, the game I stutter so hard, especially it like messes up my OBS a lot. That was like my favorite thing about Cold War. Matter of fact, I have five seconds before this lobby starts. So I gotta wrap this up. All right, so I joined this game just a little bit late, but yeah, it's so weird. Like I remember like streaming this game, like when I would load in, it would, I mean, it would stutter my OBS so hard every time. And I really don't know why, because like my, the game itself never has issues. I never have hiccups. Like I know this game is more graphically intense, but like, why is it more graphically intense at the loading screen? I, I don't know why, but we're hopping into it. What's crazy is I literally knew I was gonna be playing Arkov Peak. For some reason, every time I play hard point, which is what I played, wait, is that guy? What? Did he just spawn here? Can I bunny hop on you? Oh, I haven't bunny hopped in so long. That felt so good. For some reason, though, every time I played Hardpoint, I got Arkov Peak, and here we are now. Oh, also, this time I'm playing uh, Modern Warfare with keyboard and mouse, which I actually am. Oh, oh, baby, baby. I actually been enjoying it like a lot more than I thought I would. Like I knew I was gonna enjoy it for games like Valorant, which I have still been playing and really enjoy that. But I. You know, I played keyboard and mouse for a while and I switched back to controller for COD, like for Modern Warfare actually, because this was the first COD we've ever had cross platform. And I was playing at keyboard and mouse for the first month playing Gunfight with Small Boy. And then, uh, and then I switched back to controller because I was so bad. And I'm still like not amazing at keyboard and mouse. There's still a lot of kills where I was like, our deaths where I'm like, man, if I was on controller, I would have done way better there. But. I actually, you know, I'm comfortable enough. I, I'm, I'm good. I like it. I'm good enough with it. I like it. Oh, that was a rock. That was a nothing. Okay. One thing I really love about keyboard and mouse in this game, I thought if I want Predator to be safe. One thing I really like about keyboard and mouse in this game is tax sprinting. Does it like hurt my thumb? Like on Modern Warfare, how it like was hurting my thumb because I was constantly just slamming in the button. Even though you only have to hit it once, I just like was always hitting it. Because I just wanted to, like, as soon as I got the tax frame back, I wanted to hit it again. Where on keyboard and mouse, it, like, doesn't doesn't hurt, which is kind of nice. Uh, the other thing that's really weird, which I totally forgot about till like, just now is, like, look. You can only see my kills. There's no, no kill death. It was just kills, which is so, so bizarre. I don't, dude, Modern Warfare definitely was an interesting, interesting title. I say it all the time. I would say this was definitely a top Call of Duty game. Because I played Search and Destroy the whole year. Like, that is... Oh, my baby. I'm too good at this. Uh, but, yeah. Because I played Search and Destroy. If I didn't play Search and Destroy all year, um, I don't know how I would have felt about this game. It's kind of like Modern Warfare Remastered. Like, I just played competitive the whole year, and I really loved it. Um, but, I don't know. I really... This game, like, is a... It's a good game. It's obviously not the best game. But, for Search and Destroy, it's playable. Because, like, the whole minimap system... Which is still like the weirdest thing to me that we just played a whole year of Call of Duty without a minimap, basically. It's so... Oh my goodness, I'm actually amazing. I miss the Sim 4 so much. But in Search and Destroy, I get, I mean, you don't really need a minimap. Because we were always playing with a group of six. Like, all the time. And so we would just call out to each other for the most part. Um, Can I not get that guy? I guess not. Is there someone up top here? Another thing that's weird... Oh, here, give me this. Another thing that's weird is that you don't have to... Or I don't like, but I do like, I guess is you can't reload and sprint at the same time, which is nice because it's easier to reload cancel, but it sucks because it's like a little bit slower pace. But what are you going to do? Enemy VTOL in the AO. We are about to get wrecked, aren't we? Is there... How do I get out of this area? Oh my goodness, this map is... I don't think I've ever, the whole year of Mon Mono Warfare, I don't think I've ever been back here. Literally not one time. What in the world is happening back here? This is, uh... This is interesting to say the least. Also, just so everyone knows, I don't, I'm, I've had I've received a million DMs about all the Twitter drama yesterday. I'm not gonna even like this is what I'm saying now. This is all I'm gonna talk about. I'm saying I'm not gonna talk about it. I don't know where the next hill's at. And I've been uploading all my Twitch vods. Like I wait my 24 hours, like you're supposed to with the Twitch. Like you're not supposed to upload anything from Twitch to any other platform within 24 hours. So I've been waiting my 24 hours and I've been uploading my entire Twitch vods to YouTube into an unlisted playlist. So what that does is it makes it so if you go on my channel and you click the playlist, you can watch the Twitch vods. 
uh, because they like get deleted on Twitch after a while, where YouTube doesn't do that, obviously. Uh, but it also like doesn't clutter my feed. I know, genius, right? But I'm not gonna upload yesterday's uh, Twitch vod for obvious reasons. So I just wanted you guys to know that. Not that. Uh, I mean, I don't know if anyone watches those yet. But one day, maybe someone will want to go back. But it's not gonna be there. So I just wanted to give that. Uh, that's the only disclaimer. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. And where did I just get sniped from? Are you kidding me? Dude, this M4 feels so... N oh, you know what I do know where the next hill is at from here. I can't even see that guy. I just see his name. And then I got sniped. Oh, that's what... Dude, literally, Modern Warfare was the year of the snipers, bro. I... Man, I complained a ton about snipers. I actually, like, really feel so much better at sniping now, like, on keyboard or mouse. It, like, it actually feels, like, doable for me. Like, on controller, I just could not do it. I don't know. Like, I sucked. But, like, I actually feel like I can actually snipe if I... Wait, are we getting killstreaked on again? Oh, we are! This guy is, what is that? Why is this hardpoint unlocked still? I don't understand why this hardpoint still does that. Like it's literally only on our on our cloth peak that that happens where that hardpoint is literally like locked in place. This kill streak has killed me 4,000 times. No one's gonna blow it up and it certainly won't be me. I still don't understand why our cloth peak hardpoint locks the hardpoints. It's so weird. Enemy Joker not now. What? Oh, by the way, I totally uh, forgot to mention this. My game volume on this is probably going to be low. Uh, I'll try to like lower it or raise it if it's messed up. For some reason, so when I played MW throughout the, the like the original year, I had like my master volume on like 70 and that was fine. But now I have it lowered down to six because anything above six just seems way too loud. But when I do it on six, it's way too low. Like, when I go up to 7, I'm like, wow, this is so loud. So, I don't know. So, I'm going to have to, like, edit and post the game volume. Uh, but if it's messed up, sorry about that. Well, at least the hard point is locked over here because all my teammates are still fighting at the last hill. None of these guys are even over here. I'm going to pop Deddy since it's <laughs> not a perk in this game. Oh, Megalol. <laughs> what? Dude, this game is, this game is kind of silly for respawn. Like I said, though, we played in an... Oh, no. We played it in search and it was it was it was like pretty fun. Except for Grazna Raid. That oh that's another thing, dude. We We played a whole year without map voting, which was like so crazy because like we would constantly get Grazna Raid and they took Rust out of the rotation. Not that Rust is an amazing search and destroy map, but at least it's like like when you get it and you like you know your whole team's gonna troll on it, so it's like funny. You know it's fun. You're like, oh okay, like this is Rust, we're all gonna troll. Way better than Grazna Raid, which is like sucked pretty much i mean it was just a terrible map even though search and destroy can make like basically any map good it could not do it to grazna raid or the two new maps uh the factory or broadcast i i don't know why man i miss this m4 dude even though i didn't really play with the m4 all year i played with the mp5 i still do this m4 is it's just so clean where's this where's this guy i'm just gonna all right you you do you buddy i'm out of here the juggernauts over here i kind of forgot about that guy i'm just gonna don't mind me. I'll just be over here. I, I don't want anything to do with that juggernaut. Did you guys see the... Tra I think it was Treyarch tweeted out like a... It looks like a picture of a new zombie's map. Oh, he found me. Oh, the juggernaut. Yeah, Treyarch posted... I Like, they tweeted out something. It looks like it's a teaser for a new zombie's... Like, literally right as I'm, re as I'm recording this, it happened. So that's, like, why I mentioned it with, like, barely any information. That's literally all the information I have. Wait, that juggernaut didn't want to take the hit of a freaking... It didn't want to take the hit of a grenade? Like, dog, you're a juggernaut. Like, look at that guy. He has some balls of steel, dude. He pushed. He got smoked for it, but he pushed. Let me beat you. I was going to say, if I melee you, would that do a lot of damage? Whatever, dude. What's the score? 168. Okay, we're still winning. Barely, but we're still winning, which is good. As long as we're not losing. That's all that matters. Let's destroy this guy. Does this guy stay in a juggernaut forever until he dies? That would suck because <laughs> we can't get rid of him. Oh, what are you doing, fella? What are you doing back here? Dude, look at the time. Look, I'm at a two, like basically two minutes. The guy's second to me is 16 seconds, 34 seconds. Oh, there you go. Fiery Phoenix has 121. All right, good job to you, Fiery Phoenix. But I'm just sitting here. Oh, you know what I Why do I even have... Oh, I have dead sounds on from search last night. I should have switched to... Trophy, that guy just smoked. I literally didn't even see that guy. I saw his name, but I actually could not see that man. That was... That was interesting. He camouflaged in well. Another thing, uh, I guess it kind of goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Uh, this Tuesday, or today's Tuesday, but we're not going to be streaming on the EMGG Twitch anymore, obviously. So Tuesdays are no longer going to be like a state, like a set uh, stream day. But what I did do in my Discord is I added a new channel that no one else can type in but me, or I, guess, I mean, Tick can too, right? Because he has all the power. But whatever. It's my new stream schedule. So every week I'm going to put in there. 
like my streams like so like i on sunday i put my like uh my stream schedule on there because my stream schedule if you guys don't know is based off of my wife's work schedule she's a nurse and so i don't like to stream when she's like at home and awake that's like rude she works all day and then she's gonna come home to me streaming now we did it once a week on tuesdays where sometimes she was working sometimes she wasn't and that was okay we worked that out obviously but so that's that's my update now what i am gonna do is uh i'm gonna give it you know give it some time but then i'm gonna try to work with mrs rudy on potentially oh my gosh i got kushicked again i'm gonna work with mrs rudy on potentially picking another like day of the week where it's just like a guaranteed like stream day for like for us and i'm gonna try to make a saturday because saturday is like that's like a good day to stream so i'll keep you guys up to date on that but for now if you guys want to know like when i'm streaming you guys can go ahead and check it out now those are like the the 99 guaranteed days there are days like today where technically like right after work at 4 30 uh 4 30 to like 6 30 uh, i could do a stream like a short stream which i might do but i'm not gonna put those on there unless it's like definitely gonna happen so that that's just a rough idea so just basically if you want to know 100 percent up to date just follow the twitter account and hang out in the discord that's where you're gonna get all your information which are in the link in the description below there's a link tree link which gives you every, like all my links everything oh my gosh i totally forgot to mention we hit 50 subscribers on twitch last night thank you to everyone who has been gifting subs you guys are absolutely insane for that thank you guys we now have five emote slots already filled in that fifth one so we wouldn't lose it so thank you guys for that it'd be crazy if we brought this game back right now we i feel like we have to right like i know we're getting why did i push forward when there was a kill streak? i'm an idiot i just was trying to get aggressive let's throw some nades actually let's okay that nade bounced off the roof that's fine by me i didn't really care about that nade can we actually 30 no we don't win here we don't even win. now that they're contesting we definitely don't win here but that's okay because i no if i if we can kill this guy and not let them get this i'm gonna rotate to the next one okay hold on let's make sure we win this game where's this fella if i see this dude that guy's smoking me what is he smoking me with i don't even know all right i'm out of here i'm going to the next one boys Jeez, louise i spawned out in our no wait the score they win no no that is gonna do it for today's video guys i just wanted to hop on mw i was literally warming up on cold war right before i started recording and i was like you know what we played my mw last night let's just play it just for today let's just see what it's like maybe in a few months we'll do it again just to see but uh it seems about the same where hard point is just people sniping except for that was the first time in a long time i got streaked on that hard that guy hurt my feelings but other than that what are you gonna do thank you guys for watching today's video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on your way out and i'll see you guys later goodbye